In this episode, we explore a house once owned by a police officer that was left abandoned since the early 2000s. and TikTok making first just so that we got that out of the way. Now this place is really hoarded out with stuff. It was also once a police officer's house. We got a really cool thing to show you at the end of the video. We got a police car in the back. But let's get started. Let's look at the, uh, the first floor first. This part is really, really, really trashed. Upstairs is a little bit better than it is down here. And if you hear me talking a little bit lower than usual, we got houses on both sides of this house. It's crammed in a neighborhood. It's in a pretty bad spot. So let's check out what we got first on this first floor over here. I'm already stepping on things because there's so much stuff. Now, here's the kitchen. This kitchen is really, really, really tiny. I can barely even squeeze in here with this stuff. And it wasn't. The stuff, it was still pretty tight, I can imagine. Yeah. Now, you can see that we got some sunflower theme going on here. The sunflowers everywhere. Yeah, there's a bunch of sunflower stuff. Yeah, lots of sunflower stuff. So they must have liked sunflowers. Got your microwave. A really, really old school radio over there. Looks like a hot plate and a toaster. There's and a bunch of crap on the floor. sorts of stuff, even tools, like the most random things that you would think to see. I guess this must have been the stove under here, and they just piled it up with God knows what. Yeah. But you can see all the peely paint starting to happen. We're going to try to find a year for you guys to see when around this place went abandoned, but it's definitely been like maybe a decade. It's a really long time. Probably maybe way more. over a decade. Yeah, even more. So maybe we could find a calendar. Something like that. Yeah. Let's take a look. I think there's one in the corner. Oh, look, here's a picture of somebody. July 2002. 2002? Yep. Oh, wow. It's okay. way over a decade. It's really, really, really long time. So, there you go, guys. It's, it's, it's been a while, to say the least. I mean, look at this door. Look at the peely paint. It's just... It's really, really decayed. Falling apart. Literally falling apart. It's insane. The cobwebs are also nuts in here. We've walked through so many already. But this looks like this was their dining area. It kind of seems like this definitely was like their family table. And they just piled up all sorts of junk all over this area. I do like the pink little yeah. thing they got going on here. Cute matching colors. But it's kind of weirdly set up. Like you see when we turn over here, now you see like a main cupboard few objects in here and it kind of goes around the back side and there's a bunch of plastic covering over things like they possibly wanted to renovate certain areas way back in 2002 I assume. Let's kind of go see what's on this covering thing. If we can squeeze. So, and there's a bunch of mail and stuff. Loads of mail, fake fruits, got watches, look at this whole uh, Hershey Kisses box, nothing in there, but that's yeah, a really some, cute box. Got some old plates, gotta have your old plates, yeah. fine china type of stuff. <laughs> yeah, all that good stuff that old people had back then. Stamp pad, coasters, a lot of random things. Like we said, more plates, all their paperwork. Um, no, on 
hunting and stuff. Whoops. Well, we're not hunting, so we're good. Let's take a look over here. Oh, I just realized there's a dead animal on the floor. Uh, oh, she's about to step on him. Look. It's got like claws. It? A cat. It's a cat. Is it? It's really tiny. How is it? Baby cat. What? Really? Probably. Oh my god, yeah, there's a. Maybe it's a squirrel. That's a big one. No, that's too big for a squirrel. Are you sure? That's way too big, no? I don't know. What do you guys think? You tell us. Baby cat? And there's another one. Squirrel. Look over here. Oh man, I didn't even realize that. Oh. Disgusting. Poor animals. Got another watch. Yeah, we got. Brand new. Aqua Classic Wind. Yeah, it looks pretty much brand new in the box. Not surprising. Look, and there's one right here, too. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I don't think there's anything crazy inside these drawers, and you can't there's even open it up if you could. Some books in there, like manuals and stuff. Yeah, books, books, and, and a toaster, <laughs> I guess. But as you guys can see, we're not really going to go over in this section, because... I don't know what they were doing. You can doing tell here. it's been here for a long time now. Yeah. It's covered like, in dust. That's fiberglass, that says, right? Yeah. Insulation. So maybe they were trying to put it in this and gave roof up. area. Yeah, and gave up. There's nothing really over there besides the insulation stuff. So we'll move back into the main room and show you guys what their living room looked like. Which, there's still a pretty couch and stuff. So let's go see how that looks. I'm going to follow you out there. That's cool. Oh. Oh. We made it. Oh, this was their living area. We got a really beautiful painting that's still not yeah, hanging. I like that. Those are rusty, those hangers, but this painting is really, really nice. They put a uh, cute little light switch cover saying, God, God bless, bless our, home. our home. That's cool. Look at this really pretty chandelier that we got. I like the old style looking like lantern-y looking lights. We got going on here. And this must be a fireplace over in this end. But in front of it, I guess this is a heater generated with coal, if I'm not mistaken. You guys tell us what it is, but I'm going to assume wonder coal means you put coal in it and then maybe it heats up the house. Maybe their fireplace was unsafe to use, so they put that kind of right there and called it a day. I don't know. But they got some really big, weird objects over here. Yeah, that's another couch. Yeah. I don't know who threw that like that, but damn, somebody used their strength and pushed that thing up like that. There's another one over here. There is. Or a love seat shoved in that corner. Yeah. And I guess they had more of like their... Dining ware, things like that over there. You got an old TV hanging out in the corner. Cute little knickknacks. Looks like this cute. Yeah, there's another TV over there. That was probably their main TV. Yeah, it's shoved in the corner. Look at that. Like, this is a solid fuel room heater. So this is also another heater, I guess. I don't know why they had so many, but... Maybe this house is so old that they didn't really have natural, like regular heating, with natural gas and stuff. Um, but yeah, I guess at one point this looked like probably a cute little living room. But now it's kind of all just shoved in like this with all this random junk, so it's kind of a shame. But I think it's still pretty cool. I think like, the architecture is pretty nice. Yeah. It's a nice bowed entryway over here. And uh, this goes towards the front door. And it looks like there's a knife here. A really old, rusty knife. In Hershey Park. Yeah, Hershey Park. Uh, Keychain. Keychain.
these tools and random things. What you'll see here is the front door. It has some weird plastic on it. I don't really know, I guess. Probably for weather. Weathering issues, yeah, maybe. Maybe there was a lot of draft and they couldn't keep the house warm. That's why there's so many extra heaters. I don't know, you guys tell us what you think about that. Cause we're not sure. In that closet, it doesn't open, it's stuck from the warping of the floor and the carpet. But it's full of jackets, full of all their stuff. Whoever owned this house probably passed away. The family didn't care for it because all of the stuff is left behind. So it's just a little weird that, you know, all their personal belongings never went along with another family member. And then in here, I'll let you step in here because this is really tight. Wow. Looks like, again, just a room full of all sorts of random stuff. You got elements of hunting. Yeah. In the corner, you got some, some hats. hats over there, more jackets. jackets. Little random keychains, skeleton keychain. Huh. You can see like a box to a radio down there. That's probably for this police car. Or is that a home radio? Mm -hmm. Not down there? Or Not that. This is old yeah, school, huh? That's cool. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, that's like the... Like a scanner box? Yeah, that was definitely for us. Absolutely. First job. I don't know what this is, but... It's a bunch of junk. A lot of junk, I guess. People in the house also had other jobs. Got tons of lottery tickets. Wow. Like that. Why do people keep lottery? That if you We keep finding that recently in the brand house. It's just tons of lottery tickets. Scratch-offs, rather. They just leave them there. It's kind of weird. Yeah, as you can see, this is kind of hard to look at things in here because it's just freaking piled with stuff. Yeah, they definitely had pets. That looks like a little cat. For a cat? Yeah, a cat. Oh my god! Imagine their own cats like died over there. Oh my gosh! I hope not. I really, really, really hope not. But yeah, this this is really decaying. Look at the ceiling up here. The tiles are falling. I wonder what this was. Maybe this was more like an office area for them. This wallpaper is cool. Area. Oh yeah. Very nice. It's Look like at the colonial tile walls. Times. I don't know if you guys can see it with the the lighting, but this place is like kind of yeah covered in cobwebs. So and then behind you, I see another calendar, and that one's stuck on two thousand. So, definitely way early 2000s, no matter what, we're getting to the early 2000s, so that seems to be the case here. now like I was saying before it is way cleaner upstairs maybe more animals had access to downstairs and just it didn't happen as much upstairs we don't know but these bedrooms up here are gems I really 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 enjoy them so let's go upstairs and take a look at what we found up there now the upstairs this place is the coolest so let's, let's get right into it the stairs are so decayed. The walls are peeling, chipping. Hey, made it up. Oh, one thing I find weird is this. Almost all the rooms have this, like, guard. Is it like, for animals? For kids, too. Yeah. But yeah, um, this was their bathroom. This little weird thing, so I don't think we can get in there, but we can try to put the camera in for a second. 
just pointing out the window for a second too. You can see how close the neighbor's houses are. It's blowing out. Let me see if I can. There we go. Yeah, it's really close. Extremely. Looks like you still got shampoo and stuff. Yeah, shaving cream. All the typical. Bunch of stuff. Look how old that VO5 bottle looks. I've never seen one that looked yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Very old. But yeah, nothing special, right? So. And of course, right here is all their towels and sheets. Got some towels in here. And a bunch of rain boots. This place is cool. Let's get to this from right behind it. I'm pretty sure this was their son's room. Pretty sexual active. <laughs> Sexually active. Yes. <laughs> and he was definitely into sports, so as you can see on the wall right here, let's start with this side. You can see a bunch of baseball pictures from Sports Illustrated magazines. You got Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. I'm pretty sure that's Ken Griffey Jr. again. <laughs> I liked him, huh? Yeah. There's a bunch of them. It's definitely into baseball. And right here you got some more posters. This was his little desk area. A bunch of paperwork and checks and whatnot. There's nothing really in these drawers but beer cans and stuff, so there are definitely people in here hanging out at one point. Or maybe it was just his. I don't know. But here's a little championship medal. For a spelling bee? I think it's for a spelling bee. I say spelling. Aww. Of course, more beer. This box right here says 1997. A bunch of checks. Can't really show you that you guys these. It has too much personal information on them. These are cool. This jacket right is probably worth like $200. A lot of people are into like the vintage windbreaker starter jackets. And you got a Nike Sports, like rugby shirt. I've never seen a rugby shirt, like Nike shirt like this. Yeah, it's me definitely either. definitely into the sports, so I like it. Jordan. Even this is probably worth something. And then right here, of course, he has his guitar. I'm surprised there's strings on there yeah. still, right? Yeah, that's cool. Of course, his little TV. You can tell the year this place has been abandoned. Just by the stuff. Pretty graphic magazine over here. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> some records hiding. Yep. Some more sports stuff on the wall. Pretty sure this is probably another closet space of his. Nothing in it. Some more magazines. This kid was going crazy, huh? <laughs> Playboy magazines. Some vintage oh Playboy magazines. Entertainment for them. Now, this bed. Now, what we found funny about this bed was his little stash over here. We saw it sticking out right here. <laughs> it's like straight out of a movie. You hide your stuff under the bed. Yeah. But it keeps going. Look at that. Oh, oh my oh, man. god. That's insane. Ew. Baby oil. Baby oil in his... Oh my god, wait, no. There's his napkins, too. Oh, oh my god. I didn't see that. Oh my god. Ew. That's insane. Yo. Okay. That's insane. I mean, we, we peeked at that before, but I, didn't see, see the... This, but we didn't, like, fully lift it up. Yeah. That's too funny. That's Ooh. Disgusting. Well. Hey, he's not as innocent <laughs> as you think. These little stuffed animals. <laughs> But yeah, right here, we got some more sports stuff. This was his baseball, I said baseball, basketball side. And he got one football poster. Yep, that's cool. A lot of history in this one room. You can tell, like, there's a teen, a teenager. Sure. But yeah, this is a pretty cool room. Look at the decay. It's falling apart. The ceiling on that side is not even there. Oh, yeah. Probably like with rain and stuff, it gets really damaged. It's been a long time, I guess, it's been like this. I didn't see this, but he had an old school sharpener right here. Pencils. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, this place is pretty cool. Very tight. Yeah, very tight. 
Nice skates. I feel like I've seen this like stuffed animal before. I was gonna say the same thing. I definitely have it's seen that particular cool. puppy. Yeah, Russ. Temperature. This is obviously not working. It's definitely not working yet. <laughs> the other room. Now this one is our favorite. It's just so photogenic and a bunch of stuff is left behind. Off the start you see like one of these little dividers that you'll put for privacy or like to split a room. You got two comfy looking chairs right here. Yeah very nice looking. Got another chair on this side. Now this thing is like a little prayer or something. It's cool. And a bunch of bullets. See all these shotgun bullets? That's insane. So besides being a police officer, we think he also hunted uh, yeah, probably. For sure. There's a bunch of hunt hunting like clothes and stuff. That's a lot of them, I yeah, mean. Yeah, that is a lot. Like yeah. how many can you have, man? That's, That's insane. like Right, they got boxes and boxes and boxes. It's like empty shit. Well, some of them are empty. Most of them are full. And you got, you know, they pile of laundry and trash right here. This is so cool. Just, just look at this. <laughs> you got this little G.I. Joe tank. A shotgun, right? Or some sort of rifle. Um, yeah, I think it's a rifle. Guys, we are not gun experts, so yeah. <laughs> don't make fun, don't of us. fun of us. Yeah, if we don't know. <laughs> that is a really cool tank, though. I like it. What a cool addition. Now, obviously, this is not a real bullet. <laughs> Just like some sort of souvenir or something. <laughs> and that can happen. <laughs> but look, I think it's like cologne or something. But yeah, let's put this the way it was. you don't damage stuff in these places. You keep it the way you find it, you know? Right there is a police, a police officer's hat. Now obviously we're city. probably gonna have to blur out the numbers because that's his badge number. You just leave it like that. 
That's his badge number, so we would definitely have to bur blur that out. Oh, we got some handcuffs right here. Look how old they look. Oh, they do look old. And these briefcases that they're on yeah. are very old too, these luggages. That is cool. That bed sure does look comfy though. <laughs> now let's come to the other side. It's a cool little lamp. The wheel actually moves. Oh. Oh, look behind it. It's like some old telephone. See the little bells here. It's broken apart, but you get you 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 can yeah. guess what it was. <laughs> I don't know what this thing is in this little jar right here. I think it's cat food or cereal. Is that a scooper in it? Yeah, it's probably cat food. Yeah, probably cat food. And we got some old pictures. This was probably the guy when he was younger. Gotta love old pictures. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they're awesome. And this one's even older. Probably Last grandparents or something. Really old. Got some cool... Jars, you'll probably, you'll probably um, put sand in, like sand jars. And of course, a globe. This globe is old. It doesn't even want to turn. change of color, too. It's green. That's insane. Oh, look at this thing. New Passion Plus. Sexual Exciter. I don't know what it is. What can even fit in here? It's like those pills you get at the gas station. It doesn't feel like a pill, though. It's probably like a condom. <laughs> a little one. <laughs> Got some dental stuff over here. A disgusting looking tooth in here. That's a weird looking tooth. It's so hollow and pointy. Yeah. This is some more keychains and whatnot. But of course, this is an old school police style flashlight. It's really long. They'll like hook onto their little <laughs> holder right here. Of course, it doesn't work. It's probably been sitting here for years. You got some marbles. That's cool. That is cool. And a really old small TV that you can like hold. That's cool. That is cool. The it's portable. Look, it's on top. Yeah. The it's weird, I've never seen a TV like this. There's also stuff for right here. That's cool. It's old. That's one thing I love about visiting places like this. You go back in time. Even before our time. <laughs> but yeah, this, this is pretty cool. Yeah, you can squeeze through that corner and show them that little wall section over there. Like little puppy pictures. We're definitely not both going to fit through there. This is a nice painting. Yeah. Guy's little exercising bike right here. And some fake flowers. Yeah, obviously. obviously. <laughs> some like boots. And support Desert Storm. And a stuffed animal in the other room. Isn't it one of those type of dogs? Um, is that, a that is a spaniel. Um, yeah. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, the stuffed animal just And there's nothing really good in these little closets. Just junk. Now, as she said downstairs, obviously, at one point they were gonna, gonna fix this place, as it seems. There's a window panels right here. Back then they were probably brand new, but now they're decaying themselves. Here's an old box fan. This looks so old. It does. Same. A bunch of more junk in the corner. This probably would have been hang on the wall, or maybe on the outside of the house. What are these? I don't know. Some bottles. Some more fake flowers. Some cool Budweiser mugs. And these drawers are like shoved with junk. A bunch of like little booklets, manuals, magazines, empty picture frames, postcards. Yeah, an old postcard. 
I think there's a lady down here. Yeah. I don't know what that's Bonnie about. Bonnie Smith. Oh, that's like no. a magazine. A yeah. bunch of buttons. It's cool. left behind and it's shape it's in even though it's like falling apart it wouldn't last it's not it's not going to last that long but yeah we're gonna show you the best part of this whole property other than this stuff the cop car that's outside I think it's a few of them I think they got like a 70s style cop car like undercover and whatnot and then the rest are more modern but let's get to it one that was probably like an old undercover cop car but look at this that's insane and that's the one i was talking about earlier those are like the 80s style old cop cars over there but this right here is pretty cool i like this i can't believe this is just sitting here like this but yeah she said the neighbor's house is literally right behind those trees right here and the other neighbor's houses right there but yeah back to the cop car i'm pretty sure we can get inside of it but it'll probably make too much noise it has a little spotlight i like this and that's that's an old truck right there but it's a tanker this guy was definitely a collector of old cars and stuff and also a cop so that's cool. But yeah, we're gonna take our pictures right now. So let's get right into them.
Alright guys, so that's it for this video. We hope you enjoy. Of course, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, give us a like, and check us out on the other social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I'll put them up on the screen now, and we'll see you for the next Explore.